so excited today because we are in the land of fairy tale castles. We've come to Bavaria, which is in the southern part of Germany. And Bavaria is obviously known for its castles, Oktoberfest, Lederhosen. Today we are going to be exploring two castles. One of them is Neuschweinstein and the other one is Hohenschwangau. One of the castles you will recognize if you're a fan of Disney. We're literally going to the original Disney World today. Right now we're in the city of Schwangau and if you want to visit either of the castles, you have to park first. There are four different parking lots that you can choose from. They cost 10 euro for the whole day. Or there is a free parking lot that is about 20 minutes from this paid parking lot. So where we are right now is kind of like the base camp area. It's where the horse and carriage rides leave from, the shuttle buses, the hikes start from, and it's also the ticket center. So you do have to purchase your tickets online, and I recommend that you do that if you'd like to go inside of the castle, because they have time slots, and they're very strict with the time slots. So we've decided to just take the 30 to 40 minute hike up to see the outside of the castle area. We're not gonna pay to go inside the castle. You are required to have a guided tour. It's about a 35 minute tour. Um, most of the castle's unfinished on the inside and you're not allowed to take photos or videos. So for us, we thought, eh, we just wanna see the outside grounds. We chose to visit during the springtime, so I think this is a perfect time to come, maybe April or May, because it's before all of the summer crowds come in July and August. The weather is pretty nice right now. It's kind of cool, but I think once the sun comes out more, <laughs> I think once the sun comes out a little more, it'll warm up. Um, but yeah, there really aren't that many people here. And from the blogs that I've read online, it gets really crazy in the summer. Before we visited the castle, we did a little research about it. And we found out about Ludwig II. He's the guy that wanted this castle built for himself. He was an eccentric character in the sense that he was the king of this area. However, his powers were stripped away. He decided to stay here in this neck of the woods and just build his dream castle. So yeah, he became obsessed with castles and he used his own money to fund the building of Neuschweinstein. Unfortunately, Ludwig, he only stayed in the castle I think 11 days before his mysterious death. If you're worried about taking the hike by yourself, don't be. It's very simple. They have signs everywhere. The path is it's a road, it's well marked, so you can definitely do the hike by yourself without a guide. Right here is the carriage stops. If you opt to take the carriage ride up, it's seven euros. If you want to take the carriage ride down, it's three and a half euros. Got our first proper glimpse of the castle. It's still shrouded in the morning mist, which gives it a really eerie vibe, but it's cool. We're on the final stretch, nearly there. You're not allowed to take large bags into the castle. So if you do have a bag, they do have lockers right before you go into the castle entrance. So they have a place to put your strollers or to put your bags. I just can't stop staring at this castle. This has got to be, this has got to be like the best castle in the world, right? When you think of castles, fairy, well rather, when you fairy think tale. of the castles, you think of this one. Yeah. Wow. Now we're just gonna make our way around the outside as much as we can. Uh, there's still some fog, so we're waiting for the fog to lift because I can't wait to see the views from the castle. Because we don't have tickets, we can't actually go inside the castle. However, there is a walking path all around it so you can get amazing views. And now that the fog is lifting, it's getting even better. Oh my goodness, now we can see the Alps. I think one of my favorite features of the castle is if you walk to the back, they have six faces and they're all doing kind of like strange facial expressions. I wasn't expecting to see them. As we go higher and higher, the air becomes crisper and cleaner. It's such a nice feeling to breathe in fresh air. It doesn't happen very often. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is just the most beautiful place ever. There are two fairy tale castles. One to my left, one to my right. A beautiful lake. The most amazing countryside. Mountains. Alley. This is like a picture perfect postcard. So this is the castle. We just walked behind it. 
and we're at this place called Standort. Um, the plan is to get to the Marion Bridge, but it's shut. Hopefully we can still stand on this edge and get some nice views of the castle. Mary's Bridge is closed right now. It's usually closed if there's bad weather, but I think in this case it's closed for repairs. So it's kind of a bummer because that's the bridge that you can go to get the famous shots that you see of the castle. We're currently off the beaten path trying to get down to the river and hopefully get some better views. We have uh, two options. One is to turn back from where we came or the second one is to get on our hands and knees and try and scramble up that. Uh, I think it's a pretty clear decision. We're gonna go scramble up that. <laughs> now that the fog has lifted, we can get great views of the other side. When we were here earlier this morning, we couldn't see anything because there was so much fog, but now the fog's gone and we can see the beautiful blue lake and the green. It's just so pretty right here. Yeah, the views of the castle are pretty sick, but this is arguably eat just as good is it arguably also now we can see a parking lot which is a campsite so yesterday we came out here during sunset and got some really cool views of the castle from the viewing platform right by the lockers you can get really good views of the castle and if you look down you're standing over the edge <laughs> So I think what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go get some lunch and then we're gonna explore the other castle. For food we decided to come to the restaurant that is literally right underneath the castle. We figured all the restaurants here would be similarly priced and be offering similar food but only this restaurant has such amazing views. <laughs> Chloe is just enjoying the nice terrace in front of the castle. I am famished. The breading is crunchy, chicken is cooked perfectly, just what I need. It's a really good sausage. I feel like it has lots of flavoring, lots of seasoning, and it's grilled perfectly. We just made it to the base camp area. Our car is parked a little over that way. In this entire section there are hotels, cafes, souvenir shops, and it's also located in between the entrance to the walk for the main castle as well as the other one. What are their names, though? Uh, Noe Swanstenstein and the, uh, yeah, yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> Having just been taught the name of this castle, Hohenschwangau, that is where we're headed to next. Fortunately for us, the hike up isn't as high as it was for the other one, so it should be all right. We've just walked into the second castle and this castle, they allow you to go around the gardens and it is really nice. This castle is absolutely beautiful. I don't want to take anything away from it, but I should say that it doesn't have that fairy tale magic like New Swanshine did. However, with that said, it has a very Mediterranean-esque feel and I think that's down to the yellow color orange tiles and the garden area it has a very Spanish feel. If you come to the Hohenschwangau castle, you do have to pay to go inside, but if you just want to walk around the castle gardens, it's completely free. I highly suggest doing it. The gardens are really nice and the views from this castle are also pretty good. And the hike up is uh, a quarter, even less than the distance, so it's all right. It's a good shout. We had such a great day exploring Schwangau and all of the castles. This is a really cute area. Schwangau is only about an hour and a half south of Munich, so if you're staying in Munich, definitely take a day trip, come out for the day, explore the castles. If you're in, if you're in Germany, you have to see the castles. We want to thank you for watching this video. We have videos coming out twice a week on Tuesdays and on Fridays. So hit that subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us.